guys, this is Frank from the Boating.com Brand Ambassadors, and we are bringing this video to you to talk about archery fit and form today. So let's have a look. First things first, we're going to talk about a little tool that's super easy to get and a great practice tool to just in case you can't fire shots or you need something. Um, you could sit in the television in your recliner and practice your form an old string cable, a cable from, this is a cable from an Elite E35. Took that cable, I found the proper draw length, tied the knot into the end of the, into the end of the, um, the cable, and then I used the other end to connect my release aid, just like a D-loop, like that. Super easy, DIY, repurposed string cable, get yourself one, helps a lot. All right. One other option, surgical tubing. You can got, get this stuff on Amazon, you can get it pretty much anywhere. With a D-loop, super easy, great option to practice with, works like a charm. So let's talk about that position at full draw. We see on the Facebook group constantly, people posting, how's my form, how about a critique, Do I just looking for some feedback. And there's a lot of good and not so good information put out there. So today I'm just going to provide you with a brief overview of what they teach in the USA Archery National Training System for Compound. Long story short, the position that they teach for optimal accuracy and most biomechanically efficient position is when the archer stands tall, head is in the middle of the shoulders, arm is straight. Not hyperextended, not bent, but straight. Straight and stable. The, the, the goal there is, is to have bone on bone contact. We're gonna have a look at this diagram and I'm gonna explain to you what the goal is of having that arm straight and what's important about it. All right guys, I want you to take a look at this diagram here. You can very clearly see that there's three images on the left. It shows the short draw with the elbow forward, the long draw with the elbow back behind the, um, the, the arrow, then the one in the middle shows that elbow directly in line with the arrow, shoulders parallel to the arrow, and you can see where what would be that front hand elbow and shoulder. That's that bone on bone contact that we talk about. That's the, st that's the most stable position for the archery shot this is taught in your usa archery courses and the short draw when you are at full draw it makes it nearly impossible to get proper back tension in order to have a solid release so now that you've seen the diagram that explains what position you're supposed to be in well how do you get there there's a lot that goes into the archery shot that people don't think about. Within the archery shot itself, there's definitely a process that has to be followed in order to get there. If you watch some of the most competitive archers that are also bow hunters, um, pretty much all their draw, draw cycles are the same. Shoulders are level, relaxed, arm is straight at the draw. And what they are is it's just a raise up. These hands should raise together. Raise up, come back, hit full draw, anchor, aim, continue to pull through the shot, and finish. Now, what happens is, is people get set up and they look at that position, they throw, a, they measure them up, give them a say, here, this is your draw length, and out the door you go. There's a lot more to archery than that, and bow shops should try to do more. So the goal here is to be able to draw the bow back the same and make it repeatable. But we want to show you the actual reasoning behind some of the things that's said on some of these how's my form posts. Let's just dive into that. When you are shooting, you see guys are always saying, oh, draw length's too short, draw length's too long. The fact of the matter is, is you cannot tell where the draw length is, short or long, precisely tell that is, when you're standing in this position. 
the position the camera is in right now is what we call the coaching number number one coach position or the number one position. It's the position when you're working with an archer, in my case, right-handed. That's the position that you're standing in watching this person shoot. Um, I'm going to draw my bow back and just show you a couple of things that can throw off this entire um, picture or video that people post online. Really could look like draw length's too long in this position, doesn't it? Way forward on my face. Arm still looks straight, but I want you to watch what happens when I settle in right. Big difference in what's actually going on and what it looks like on a still frame or even in a video. Doesn't mean that my draw length's on, uh, too long in that instance. Just means that maybe my anchor point is off or maybe I'm just not shooting correctly. So it's real hard to tell or to make a legitimate claim, your draw length is too long. You don't know, but I'll show you how you can tell. This is not a coaching angle, but I want you guys just to see the positioning of the arm at full draw. Again, ultimately, everyone should shoot with relax. Start start your draw with relaxed shoulders, shoulders down, arm out in front of you, straight, not bent, not also, not hyper extended like this. Have a watch. Arm is straight the entire time through through the draw. Come back, pull straight back. Arm remains straight, shoulders remain down and level. The one thing that you can notice is there's very little head movement when coming into anchor point. Ultimately, that's what you want. You don't want hand movement with the release hand and you don't want head movement at all, if at all possible. Um, Archie's one of those sports where less is more and you want to keep it as simple as possible. All right, guys, so we're going to look at position number two. If you notice, the camera is on a little bit of an elevation. Um, ultimately, that's the best uh, location to be able to view this position, but you can do it from the ground just as well. And what you're looking for in this position is that the tip of the elbow at full draw is in line with the arrow. Um, your goal in this position is just to make sure that there's no head movement at full draw, not moving forward, not moving too far back, Ultimately, you want the head right in the middle of the shoulders in that because that is the most stable position. Um, arm is straight, not bent. What that does is that allows the shoulders to be parallel to the, to the arrow itself at full draw. So let's have a look at mine. So you notice at full draw, there's constant tension pulling back, I'm relaxed, and I have that bone on bone alignment from my wrist through my elbow to my shoulder, shoulders parallel to the arrows, release elbow in line with the arrow. This isn't something that's just been created, 
This isn't something that is really an opinion based. This is taught by pretty much all of the elite level coaches across the country. There's no reason that bow hunters shouldn't take a target archer's approach to their form and their accuracy. I don't think in any circumstance whatsoever that when an animal's life is at your hands as a bow hunter, that you shouldn't take every step possible to go from pie plate accuracy to pinpoint accuracy. That's the goal. That's what we want to do. And I think as, as a bow hunter, it's ultimately your responsibility to go after that accuracy. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody. If you have any questions or comments, please just leave them in the comment section below or shoot me a private message if you are looking for some video analysis or help with your own form. Thanks again. Bow hunter die.